What's going on everybody? This is Eric here from Paraflinch. Welcome to another video of ours. Today, I'm going over my top 8 finish at uh, the last League Cup I just attended at Wild Things Games in Salem, Oregon. So, as you can see on your screen, um, I took Zorark eggs uh, with uh, a 1-1 line of Alola Muck to avoid this pesky guy. Um, yeah, Roadblock is like your arch nemesis, of course, and literally everybody runs it. Or um, if they don't, they probably run parallel. So uh, it really uh, helps. This Alola Muck really helps in that regard. Uh, we'll go over the whole deck list and everything that uh, I played, everybody I played, and how uh, the matchups went. But uh, yeah, let's just go over the deck list first, as always. And let's start it off with Big Daddy Oranguru. Now, I didn't use him as much as I thought I would. Um, I was expecting a lot of mirrors, so um, I was expecting to use a lot of resource management. Now that Puzzle of Time is banned, I figured that resource management would be cool, um, especially to uh, bring back Versus Seekers, um, you know, uh, Skyfields if I needed to, uh, for whatever reason. Um, you could even bring back a computer search, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I just... Uh, I had him in there, and he's also another um, bench space to fill up Zorark. So, you know, I, I thought he would be good, but I didn't actually end up using him at all, really. So, um, yeah, this is probably one of the things I'll end up cutting uh, for other stuff. Um, two Shamans to set up, pretty self-explanatory. Shaman came in clutch a couple of times, um, but nothing too worthy to note. Um, Shaman does what Shaman does, right? And then you got uh, your... 4-4 uh, four, four Zoroark line, uh, that's standard in Zoro eggs. You got one Pseudo Wudo for the everything else, honestly. Pseudo Wudo is just really good, uh, both in expanded and standard. Uh, two Propagation Execute, um, really, really good card. I love Execute. It's just such a, I don't know, it wasn't good before, obviously, until Zoroark came out, and it's just like infinite trades. Yes, please. And then if you really need to, you can fit, put him on the bench. You can put two of them on the bench. Blah, blah, blah. You you guys know how it goes. 1-1 um, one, one line of Alolan Muck. Uh, he did come in really, really clutch in the Ray matchup, which I will go over. But yeah, Alolan Muck, really, really good. Um, I did I did play quite a few decks with Pseudo Wudo, but only in which like one came into play. And even then, I'll explain later, it didn't really matter that I had Alolan Muck. Uh, really, he was just there to like solidify the Ray matchup. Matchup. So, yeah, we'll go over that. We'll go over all the matchups. I keep saying that, but yeah. <laughs> Mewtwo EX really, really good against Buzzwool, and um, even like Gallade that that likes to pop up. Um, Mewtwo's just really good. Uh, X Ball. It's basically Lele's attack, but uh, does weakness damage, so it's always good. Two Lele, speaking of which, one Seismitoad EX, really love Seismitoad, um, really can just shut people out of the game uh, with item lock, and uh, battle com two Battle Compressors, just so I can get my Executes and any other su supporters I want in my discard pile early on. Uh, for example, a lot of the time, like, I'll have an opening hand where I only have Versus Seeker in hand and no way to get a supporter, so I will just, you know, uh, discard, like, a Cynthia or, like, a Bridget one of the two and it's just it's really nice it really like helps the consistency out uh computer search uh one enhanced hammer and uh two field blower i was expecting a lot of garb so um i i upped the normal count from one to two i even wanted to play three but i just didn't know what to cut uh from the list uh two rescue stretcher one special charge uh full four ultra ball four vs seeker for Skyfield, one Ace Trainer, really love this card. I don't know why more people don't play this. It really helps help me out quite often. Um, like, yeah, it ends great, but like early turn, let's say they, they uh, knock one of your Zeruas out or whatever, you can just say, oh, uh, I'm just gonna Ace Trainer you. You get three cards and I get six. So it's really good. Uh, comes in handy in a lot of different situations. One Ace Rolla, really clutch card. Two Bridget, two Colrus, two, uh, one Cynthia, one Guzmo, one Karen. Didn't really use Karen at all. Um, but it is really good to um, bring your Pokemon back for some late game. Pop them all on the bench if you got your bench like nerfed some way. 
really good. Um, did come into play once, but not as much as I thought it would. One Mallow, one N, two Choice Band, two Floatstone, and four DCE. Now, let's go ahead and go over the uh, the rounds and the matchups that I had. So, round one, I played against Chris Stotts, one of my good buddies in the local area. He was playing uh, Garbodor, uh, the standard, I think it was a standard Garbodor um, Drampa list and expanded. Uh, actually, I think he also played uh, the, the Spread Lele and the Necrozma as well. So, um, yeah, yeah. I, and I think it was Dimension Valley as well. I had, I'm not quite sure. I didn't get to see much, but... Um, uh, basically, I, I dead drew for the first three turns in, in the match, and then um, he was he was frantically looking for his Garbotoxin, so like if I did find like a Lele or something, then it would be completely useless. But uh, he the one Garbotoxin he played was actually prized in his deck, so our prized uh, in his prize. <laughs> the Garbotoxin was prized, so um, I basically got away with... Uh, being able to get out of that situation but he did take his first prize and that was the garbotoxin uh garbador but the next on my next turn i top deck lele and then i leleed for colrus and i just was able to come back after i thought i was completely done i was like oh chris has got me again <laughs> and he, he um he told me it was like yeah the first prize it was the garbotoxin i was just looking to for the n and to like garbotoxin and put like uh floatstone on there or whatever and shut me out but uh, he just could not find the n and i was just digging through my deck with trade and it it was um it was it was a close game i think i think it was like three to i think it was three prizes to i took all six of mine so i don't know it it really it really seemed like he was just gonna pull away with me just like dead drawing for the first few turns there but yeah, um, top decking the Lele before he got that Garbotoxin. It was just, it was pretty, pretty close call there. <laughs> but yeah, I was able to beat Chris in round one. Um, but uh, actually, Chris ended up getting top eight. I think he got top four. So uh, yeah, congrats to you, Chris. And then round two, I played against um, Vince. He was playing Gardevoir. And I didn't know at the time, he told me afterwards that it was a standard Gardevoir list. So uh, he, he thought that today's... Uh, days uh this tournament that we were at was um standard he didn't bother to check to see if it was expanded or standard and it ended up being expanded obviously and he just came with a standard gardevoir list so this whole time i was frantically worried about like glade and you know teammates like all this stuff that i'm like oh, what could he do what could he do should i take out this curlia but no he didn't have any of that stuff so but I, of course i didn't know that till the end so I was playing very defensively. I was doing like Ace Arola turns, being very like methodical on like how I'm gonna take things out. So even using Seismitoad to make sure like the rare candy stuff wasn't coming out. Um, so yeah, he was playing like a Sylveon Gardevoir list. And um, yeah, there was one big turn where I used Ace Arola. It was really clutch. Um, and I was able to take out a Gardevoir uh, pretty quickly. And then um, it was hard for him to recover. And then I Guzma a Lele, and then um, he just he asked me if I had uh, Guzma for, for for game, and I had like half my deck in my hand. So and I had a couple versus seekers. I had so many different things I could have done, and uh, yeah, he just scooped there, and then I won round two. So um, yeah, good. It was pretty close actually. He uh, I think it was like two prize. I was two prizes away, where like um, I I could have lost. Um, it was like four prizes to two or three and he could have taken uh two prizes from zorark or from my zorark and i and also had like um uh uh what he was playing a stadium i can't remember which stadium he was playing he was playing something where my skyfield could have been just knocked out and then my whole bench uh was completely gone he could have hurt me really badly right there um but it didn't happen and uh yeah and there was no end, of course, because it was a standard list. And yeah, it was it was pretty good. Uh, he did play Judge, but did not uh, could not find the Judge in time. Um, I hope that made sense. There was a lot of stuff I said there, but anyways, uh, round three, I played against uh, another Garb player. Uh, it was a similar list as Chris's, um, and he just dead drew the whole time. This was probably the one one of the most. Um, sad sad games for my opponent because like they just could not ha get anything out of their deck and uh i just had a really fat hand and yeah he could not find an end 
and I was just able to capitalize. It was it was a really quick game. Um, and yeah, so anyways, uh, and then this is something I wanted to note here. Uh, all the way through all three of these rounds, not one single person had pseudo wudo uh, dropped on me. And I was like, what is going on here? I, I would have thought, you know, every single deck would play pseudo wudo. Um, no idea. Uh, last the last cup the previous weekend the big decks were Garbodor and Ray so I don't know uh, also uh, the guy who won this cup was playing a Zoro eggs list and he also made top eight last week at the cup so I would have figured you know some people might have uh, started teching pseudo Udo but didn't really see much up into this point so I was kind of confused but anyways went into round four I was playing against uh, Kaden who was playing uh, Garbodor and he consistently had me item locked with Garbotoxin up, and it was so hard for me to recover. He kept ending, like, I think he ended three or two turns in a row where I was just like, I had the answers, but like, um, after, after the fact, but then he would end me. And then, you know, I was forced to take one prize knockouts um, on like Garbodors or like Trubbishes or whatever, and he could just end me. And it, it, it was really like, it was really sucky. And um, Caden ended up uh, just capitalizing on on my uh, on my bad draws from the end. So definitely a good game. So I'm three and one at this point. I was super close to being like, oh, I could just ID my way into top cut, but no. Now I have to win one more uh, game uh, between rounds five and six. So I go into round five playing against Dallas. It was a mirror, but with Garbodor. So. A little bit different of a list, but same concept. Zorark eggs, fill up your bench, blah, blah, blah. And um, he dropped Sudowoodo turn one, but it really didn't matter because uh, I knew that he was playing Garbodor as well. So he had like three Trubbishes down or two or three Trubbishes down. I think that's what he bridged it out uh, turn one. And he um, he uh, he has Garbotoxin, right? So I don't really care about getting a Lola Muck down when he's just going to end up shutting off his own... Um, his own Sudowoodo's roadblock, but I did get down Grimer just in case he was going to play around that. And I think he noticed that, and then he just Garbotoxin'd me um, the, the third turn there. And it was like, Garbotoxin hurts so much, and I I really regret not putting in three field blowers, because if I did, then I probably would have hit my field blowers at the right, tur at the right turns that I wanted to. But... Um, yeah, just did not did not end up happening my way. Um, I was able to ace a roll a key turn, but then he was able to ace a roll a key turn, and it seemed like he was always one step ahead of me, and I ended up losing that. So I am super nervous here. I'm going into round six. I'm like, oh man, did I just throw this all away? Like I totally was like ready to go into top cut, feeling like really pumped, and I'm like, oh here we go. I'm just gonna like scrub out now, and then I go into round six. And I'm, my nerves are like full throttle at this point. And <laughs> uh, the guy I play against, his name was Eric, and he was playing a, um, a Turbo Ray uh, build, uh, similar to what won last week at the previous cup that was in the area. And luckily I went first. I was able to bridge it out uh, two Zorua's and one Alolan Grimer with a Zora in the active. And, um, uh, Eric didn't know uh, what Alola Muck did, so it was kind of a little to my ad advan advantageous position to throw down Alola Muck when he least expected it. And I, t I tried to do it as early as possible, right? So uh, after he he got down on his turn, he got down uh, two rays, each had about two energy and then one attachment to the Lele that he had in the active. So he had a total of um, five energy, which is pretty scary already. That's uh, 150 damage. It's not not a good time, but um, anyways, I was able to. Uh, he he knocked out. I think he actually no wait. I think he he was able to knock out a Zerua because then what I had in my hand was I had a Lola Muck and Ace Trainer somehow, and I Ace Trainered, slapped down a Lola Muck, and um, ha I was able to Skyfield fill up my whole bench and uh, take out a knockout on his active ray with three energy and this might have been a, a, another turn after um, now that i think about it it probably was and then um he couldn't do any all he had in his hand was like uh 
Mysterious Treasure and like all of his stuff, right? Like Lele's and Ray's, uh, they can't do anything. Uh, their abilities are completely shut off by Alol Alola Muck. So this was like a super clutch, like Alola Muck uh, game. Like it literally just won me the game. Um, really crazy. I was really surprised at the power of like what Alola Muck can do to that deck. It was just really like, it was really destructive. And um, yeah, I was able to pull away at that game just due to Alola Muck and uh, taking that big knockout on that Ray. Um, but yeah, so I won uh, round six and I knew I was in top cut just because my resistance was super good. It was the highest uh, opponent's win ratio resistance out of all the players uh, that were in the possible for like a bubble or whatnot. So um, yeah, the, the guy that I lost to in round five, Dallas, he right he beat me in round five because I had to play it out. And uh, he was the only one with that. He was the first seed, I believe. And then um, uh, Caden, who I lost in round four, was like the second seed. So I was I was looking pretty good there. He was the second or third seed or something like that. But yeah, so I, I ended up getting into top eight with um, in the seventh seed. And my first matchup was against Caden again, uh, playing Garbodor. And I was like, oh man, I was feeling pumped. I was like, all right, I can do this. I just need to, I just need to draw into the right cards <laughs> this time. I need to get my field blowers. I'm just always just gonna be sitting on one of them at least uh, every time before I pass it over to him. Uh, and you know, I'm feeling really good. I'm shuffling up. Uh, we set up. I have Zerua in the active. And I'm like, all right, let's go. And then I was going. I won the coin flip, so I was going first. And sure enough, once I, I have Lele in hand, two Zor Zorarks. Uh, I even I wrote it down. Let me see here. Um, I had uh, I had one Zorua active, a Grimer bench, two Zorark in hand, one Execute, one Chorus, and a Lele. So I slapped down the Lele. I was like, oh yes, I can get my. I can get three more Zeruas out. Like this is gonna be su such a good like clutch game, and um, sure enough, both Bridgets are prized. The one game, like it's like I have no idea what it is, but like whenever I get into top cut, something like this like so detrimental happens. Two Bridget prized, and I'm like, oh, it's not meant to be. <laughs> Bridget, why do you do this to me? And that was basically like, I knew right then and there, I was like, that this is how it's gonna be, huh? <laughs> this is just how it's gonna be. So instead, I Lele for Cynthia. Oh boy, it was just, I, I ended up getting into another Zerua, but like, it was just not a good game whatsoever. Um, Kaden was able to again, like hit me with, um, Quaking Punch, and he was able to hit me with um, uh, a lot of Drampa's Righteous Edge and Garbotoxin me and end me at the right time, and it was just super hard to come back. Um, game two, you know, uh, he won that, obviously, and then game two, I was like, all right, let's go. I was hoping that, you know, both Bridget's wouldn't be prized this time. I was able to um, get uh, Bridget, I was able to get Bridget like turn two or three, um, but yeah, I, I was dead drawing the first couple turns in game two and I was like, this is like the worst way to go. Like both Bridget's prize and then you just dead draw like game two. It was like super sad, but you know, um, I did end it. I ended up coming back from the dead draw, but, uh, he was able to just, you know, finish, finish up the game pretty easily after I, I really had to like use a bunch of items because I didn't have my eggs in the discard pile. And not to mention, um, I, when I did eventually, like, late game, get them in the discard pile, he already had me Garbotoxin. And it was just bad news all around. Um, I really need to test that matchup more. And um, the guy who won, uh, Shane, who uh, is a good friend of mine as well, he uh, played a Zoro Eggs list, and uh, it also had Mag Cargo in it. So um, a more heavy focus on Lola Muck as well. Uh, there's some really great synergy there. I'm going to try to uh, mess around with his list a little bit, see how that does. Um, and yeah, I'm going to just test more with uh, Mag Cargo because you can just set up uh, those field blowers for when you need them. You can just set up uh, 
literally anything, honestly. Um, but yeah, uh, congrats to Caden uh, uh, for uh, the top eight win against me. Um, uh, really good player. He just became a master. And um, congrats to Shane for winning the whole enchilada, as it were. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. I got another cup this weekend. Uh, the report won't come out for uh, after that one till about a week after because I got other videos lined up. I'm going to be doing more expanded videos and I'm going to be doing um, a couple more standard videos I also have already recorded. So if you guys want to see anything uh, in particular, please comment down below. Get a comment discussion going. Uh, please like the video if you did and share uh, the news, share the videos if you would. It helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. So stay safe wherever you're at and have a great day, night, and I will see you next time. All right, see ya.